Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day, whatever this is bringing you today. I am showing you today how to make mirepoix in your Thermomix. Now this becomes the base of so many amazing recipes, from roasts to soups to even curries you could put this into. It is amazing, although I guess people who like really authentic curries might not like that. But it becomes such a flavorsome addition to any dish. So let me introduce you to it today. It's really simple, it's a handful of ingredients and it's going to take 12 minutes on our high heat function with our TM6. So, let's get going. So, when you get to the front of a recipe, you can straight away scroll down and collect out your ingredients if you'd like. You've also got some important information on here about how long it's going to take you to prep, how long in total the recipe takes and what the serving size is and things like that. So don't forget that information is there. As you scroll down, it will tell you the ingredients and then any utensils and any hints and tips as well. And so it'll tell you there how to use this beautiful thing that we're creating. So straight away, I'm gonna to go to start cooking. And the first thing it's asking for is my oil. So I'm going to remove my lid and I'm going to just re-tear my scales because my scales have gone back to a negative because my lid's been taken off. I want 20 grams of olive oil. Nearly there, we go up in one gram increments. There we go. Click on the next button. Now we want 200 grams of brown onion cut into wedges. It's important in this recipe we do go wedges um, so that it doesn't overcook it. It more is going to ca um, caramelize and crystallize that onion. So into wedges. And I've got a little bit of uh, purple onion here as well that needs using, so I'm gonna add that to make my weight match up. You must remember with high heat cooking, we wanna go overweight, not underweight. They go 235, perfect. 100 grams of celery cut into pieces. So I've got my celery here chopped. Now the ideal size for celery is actually no longer than the width of your dial. Okay, that's a really handy tip to know. My, I'm gonna be a bit light on the celery, but I'm gonna make up for it in the carrot. 100 grams of carrots cut into pieces. And you can see mine was a little bit overweight there. So we're all good. Okay, so now it's asking for our splash guard attachment. So we put our lid in place. The trick to removing your TM5 measuring cup, which by the way will fit the TM6 and sorry, the TM, this is the TM6 measuring cup, and it will fit the TM5 and the TM31, is to rock it towards a spout and it comes out. It simply releases the little feet. So um, you can purchase this for your TM5 or your TM31 but it is standard with our TM6 model Thermomix, as is our splash guard. So this is standard um, because of our high heat functionality, but it does um, also fit our TM5 model Thermomix. So we put that in place, we click on done, and now you can see we've got 12 minutes at our maximum temperature and we just spin the dial and off it goes. So I've spun that around. Now I've got 12 minutes, so I'm just going to cook this off beautifully um, using our high heat function where it's getting up to 160 something degrees and you're going to hear it start sizzling, which is amazing because um, our previous models didn't do this beautiful sizzle off like this. You can hear it's stopped perfectly normal for our high heat function. We would expect it to stop as that temperature of the oil rises and then we'll hear it do some movements to keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pan. I don't know if you can hear that yet, but it's sizzling. I'll just give you a moment to listen to that. This is gonna be amazing though. It is making the base today of a pumpkin soup that I'm about to make. Um, and yes, it's just going to bring a real intense flavor to my soup. This caramelization is absolutely amazing. So there you go, can you guys hear that now? I certainly can. And it's starting to smell amazing. And this is the real difference to get with this high heat cooking, with the amazing caramelization smell, uh, the sizzle, and you know, normal with the burning, the ability to walk away and let it cook, or you do more important things in life. So with that in mind, I am going to say bye for now. Have a fantastic day with whatever it may bring you. Please reach out if I can help you with your Thermomix in any way. If you'd like support with the demonstration, with information, with troubleshooting over a recipe, whatever it might be, I'm here to help you get the very most out of your Thermomix investment. So please do reach out if you require any assistance with that. But otherwise, I will see you again tomorrow. And I do hope you will make this recipe. Please let me know when you do. Bye for now. Okay, so the mirepoix has been cooking now for 12 minutes. It smells absolutely amazing in here. Now, 
I'm going to just show you what it looks like in there. And you can see there's a bit of stuff. Sorry, you've just got fogged up. There's a bit of um, caramelization in there. I'll just have to tell you because you guys can't see for a second until <laughs> that fogginess goes away. But it looks amazing. And then it says, if desired, then place the measuring cup on. You just have to trust me that it looked amazing. Place your measuring cup on. And now we dice it. Now you don't have to dice it. If you're putting it under a roast or something, it doesn't need dicing. But in this case, it's going under a roast. Uh, in this case, it's going to soup. So it's going to go three seconds at speed five. And then it's done. Uses as needed. So that's pretty cool. It's done 12 minutes, beautiful caramelized off. Oh, can you guys see how soft and tender that looks in there? Just absolutely amazing. Sorry about the steam. Radio, I'm going to love you and leave you on this one, and I will show you um, how I'm going to use this in another video later. Bye for now. Reach out if I can help you in any way. See you soon. Bye.